naked naked Patrick Bateman. Um. Well, high key, both of them seem completely unhinged. I don't know this guy's medical history, um, but I do think Bateman would be absolutely terrifying. The reason why I say that is because the whole point of Patrick Bateman is to show that these men, specifically his type of dude, which was um, rich, could get away with literal murder. This guy's already locked up, kind of. He's already been, uh, has, has, people already keep an eye on him. So my guess is, I'm gonna say Bateman would be terrifying. Because Bateman would kill me and get away with it. Oh, hell no. Are you kidding me? You are. Oh, somebody got a little doo doo stain on the chair. I have the key. Oh, I think I know what that means. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Hey. There it is. Thank you guys. I can't understand your accent. Oh, sweet freedom. Let me just huck myself off this window. Careful of the glass there, bud. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% hungry. Even when I just... Oh! oh. oh. B B B T. Okay, we got pushed out by uh, Glitterbeard. This is normal. Oh, my sanity is decreasing. Wait, am I back in the house? Oh. Who did this place? decorated this house. I'll need to stop. <gasps> oh! I don't know what any of this means. music <laughs> and <laughs> like where the what the fuck was he just gonna be chilling around the house now oh well, conveniently I found the other eyeball so <laughs> there is that coming for us there we go Seems safe. Sorry. <laughs> Stacy's mom has got it going on. Don't worry, guys. It's just a local demon. Hmm. Sir, could you put some clothes on, please? You too. I at least need a shirt. Oh, that one in the middle is lost. Glitterbeard. Literally me when I hear a funny joke. <laughs> we can't go in there. Oh, oh, he's doing a little bit of yoga over there. He's yoga. Po
poison. Bit of, uh... We can go for a drive. All right. Um. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm choking. Are we making out? I guess we can't. You don't have any lips. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to touch you guys. Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Sorry. You guys are very well built. All of you. You guys all got some nice build. Ripley. Once again, we need to talk about this. did I get? Excuse me. Pardon, coming through. Sorry. My bad. Excuse me. Don't mind me. You guys look great. Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> Tato, <it is> seriously. <laughs> or please be testing me. Yes. Oh! Okay. Damn. No. Are you kidding me? 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 Open the damn door. Oh my god. Fuck that noise. Oh god. Oh god. The frames. This is a nice hospital. Oh, hold on. Let me just, uh, just, uh. Okay, we're good. Got what I needed out of that. <laughs> I'm totally lost. I don't know what I'm doing. Totally lost. I think I know where I need to go now. Cause holy shit. There's dirty prints everywhere. Oh, Ripley, it's the goop. We're Hold gooping it! Patient number nine on request from Smith Walter. Okay. Patient name, Rakin Almutala. Gender male, okay. age 28. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a young boy. After Rakin's first evaluation, it is safe to say that he'll be staying here for a while. I was able to get him to talk about his paranoia. The patient believes that the whole scenario has been organized what? by some evil corporation in order to brainwash him into subjugation. He believes his mental capacity and awareness prevented them from getting to him. Adding hmm. to the severity of his case, he is sometimes afflicted with hallucinations. The goop leads you right he where you need to go. Hallucinations to me as an eyeless humanoid that keeps on watching him wherever he is. Due to his psychotic behavior, hi, buddy. How are you? Differentiating reality from paranoiac fabrication. He has been transferred to the psychiatric wing. He also displays violent behavior towards the staff, is considered to be dangerous, should be sedated, and under constant surveillance in the psychiatric ward. Jesus Christ. Just put him out of his misery if you're just going to keep him locked up and drugged. Jesus. Or, I don't know, find a solution. How much you want to bet he's not, like, what they would be considered psychotic? And he's actually, like, in the right? Like, the ghosties are real. Alright, we got a key. Killing it. Basement staircase. Oh, oh okay. I don't know what this is. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? 
behind me. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, right, right. Behind me. I, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally, that's what I thought. I was like, why is the music getting louder? What's happening? Okay, let's just run. It's almost like you're meant to die that first time around. my ankles I'm gonna go join Kevin's empire there's a guy there thanks thanks I appreciate it oh shit dude they sell hot dogs <laughs> and burgers at a hospital hi vey really helping me out oh I was homie so fast on those things holy shit is he like Using him for momentum? That's what I did when I had crutches. Honestly, I'll, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just running. Okay, I guess that ain't it. Where is it? At? It must be it. Oh shit, dude, you're fast, dude! It won't let me use them. It won't let me use the key. Dude, they like give you some fucking. You can like hoist yourself up on the crutches and like fling your body if you really wanted to. I remember when I had crutches, I was like a speedy bitch. Until I went to school and I had to go upstairs in them. I think he's running on sheer fucking will at this point. I think you're not wrong. I think you're very right there. He's a pro, dude. Hell a pro. Two years on crutches. Ouch. That makes my freaking. That makes my um, you know, this part right here, like on your chest, on your the side of your chest. That that makes that hurt. That shit was raw by the time I got done with crutches. And I only had mine for like two months. For my life. Mm. What a nice hospital. Okay, let's try it again. Ah, okay, there we go. Nosferatu's back at it again. I'm trying to start some shit, I see. Did I check the locker room? That's a great question. I did not really thoroughly check the locker room, I'll be honest with you. I know, aren't I like the strongest person you know? I'm like... <laughs> Boof. No? Oh my god, I didn't see the keys. My flashlight was too bright. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna be honest, guys. We don't need to be doing that. That was not necessary. He escaped from the trash can. That sneaky bitch. He was in the trash can this whole time. Oh my god, then we didn't even know. They really didn't like the trash can. No, they did not. They fucked this trash can as they freaking golemed away. Hello? Yod? Hello? Yes. Go wherever the door lights up. I'm going to say we need to go down this way. It's fall weather. I know it's fall weather and I'm so freaking happy. Fuck your hot weather. Such good weather here, Rubear. It's already like rainy and it smells so good outside. What am I missing? I need a magnetic card reader now. In the room that I'm 
miss it. Dude, yeah, that's weather that's like perfect for just going out. Cozy clothes on, like sweaters and hoodies. Oh, I'm a fucking love hoodies. I'll make fall apparel. Make like a little potato patch apparel with like fall colors and fall leaves everywhere. A bunch of little potato in a patch. Potatoes in a patch, smiling. This crazy dude's gonna be there now. You made a debut in this game? The trash can? You're looking pretty good, Natasha, not gonna lie. Okay, alright, damn. I too also like to fly through windows. It's exceedingly moist. Yep, you're not wrong. I, de I bet you it's really damp down here and probably really warm. Alrighty. Got a, got a... Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. I mean, brown is just it's like a bunch of colors kind of... Oh, hey there, guy. How you doing? Are you the trash can guy? What are we doing here? Oh, the weight limit. Okay, hold on. Are you kidding me? Oh, good God. I'll tell you one thing. Moving bodies is not easy. Shit is some... Um, Serious work. <laughs> oh my god. I know the way they move. It's real gross. That's why you pull by the legs. Yep. <laughs> who stacked all these bodies in here? Like, who did that? You gotta learn how to properly put away your stuff. First time moving a body. I know, I hate when the corpses take up all the space so I can't, like, use the elevator. You guys need to put some lotion on your legs. Your legs are looking a little transparent. Excuse me. Fuck you, Dwayne. Oh, what? Oh! Okay. Didn't know you were there. How's it going? Goop is great. We love the goop. Fuck you, Dwayne. Oh, fuck you, too. Where am I going? I don't know. Running in circles. Moving for the best. Don't stop running. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. On running. Don't stop running. Keep on running. Don't stop running. I stop running. Ooh. Stuck. Okay. That was fun. That was a good time. I was silently panicking. <laughs> Just like hyper focused on getting the fuck out. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. Oh, eyeballs. Um. Oh. Oh no. Oh, this is not a good time. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, oh damn. Okay. We're 
in a nice room. Real safe room. Back in our safe and comfortable house that we all love. I don't have a flashlight or lighter at all. Follow this slithery boy and see where it takes us. I don't know where I'm going. Try not to stand in the dark for too long, but you see the problem is, is my flashlight got taken away. Stop, this is your gonna playlist. Hell yeah. Instead of gore, it should be goop. <laughs> I mean, no eyeballs? I mean, that's a big eyeball, but I don't know if that counts. Uh, what we're looking for here. balls in here. How do we play this? Listen, I think it's because we're all like-minded individuals here. <laughs> and we all like scary stuff, that's for sure. Alright, alright, alright. Their Fitbit? What, why does it keep buzzing? Is the Fitbit mad because they're not Fitbitting? I'll tell you one thing. I would not be playing this alone. That is for sure. Delicious. Love that. Love that. Oh, delicious. Another moment. You got kitty. No, not the kitty. Yeah, see, I, I only play this with somebody near me. <laughs> I can't play horror games alone. That's I can watch horror movies alone, but like uh, the, the video games are a different level. It's slow. But it's it's good. It's good. And it's got a story. It's got a story to it. I'm actually intrigued at like what the story is about. Hey guy. Hey guy. Okay. Yeah, it's got a good story. So the slow build up, it really it's really good though. It it it's got like a creepy eerie feeling you know and it, it kind of creeps up on you it's like a really good thriller where like the build up is nice and slow and you don't just get you don't just get immediate uh, what's the word jump scares you know which is really nice Massage. this is a killer hospital like high key gorgeous hospital like I, I got like I am shook I have never seen a hospital look this good No, no, ding, ding, ding. Let me in. <laughs> okay. You gonna run? I don't know what that's all about, but we're running. So every time I don't run, I die. Buttons. Uh oh. I did something that did something. I don't know if that was a good thing. <laughs> oh. He's totally lost it. 
it's really oh, rude. She injected him with a tranquilizer. You're not supposed to be here. You're all fucked. Someone find him up. Get his doctor right away. Let me out of here. Oh my God, he's killing doctors and shit. Oh my God. Honestly, no. What what the audio is more like, yeah, sometimes you'll be like, but um, because like some guy appears on your screen or whatever. But like for the most part, it's got a really good way of adding like really eerie, kind of creepy sounds um that build up the atmosphere pretty dang well, if you ask me. Versus like just sudden jump scares. To be honest, like I haven't gotten we haven't gotten too many jump scares. There's been a few times, but like once you figure it out, you can get through it pretty quickly. Room 13. Nope, nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's like alien isolation where where it's it's got some spooky atmosphere and really good with the background noises. And yeah, you got like the, the random jump scares where like alien, for example, would come down and like kill you but it's not like it's not so extensive to the point where you're like oh my god another jump scare like it, it's it's actually like really good at the the build up and it's got an so far a pretty intriguing story like I'm, I'm actually genuinely interested in in what's going on here observation room Ooh, that that can't be a good story An observation room, but ah, All right, that's a horribly designed door. You have assaulted multiple employees and threatened security guards with a knife. You sabotaged the electric panel, leaving the entire ward in the lockdown. Such behavior is even a question your mental stability and health. You're left with no choice but to isolate you from the patients and employees in the psychiatric ward. Oh you boy. No! No treatment! Oh. You all are the reason why they're... That is a big boy. That is a big bitch. And he's totally he's 28 years old? Oh boy. It's gonna awkwardly open this door, thank you. Dude, he's like fucking huge. Oh, great. Love this. We're following the goop. Mm, delicious. Ew, what is that? What are you doing? Are you putting your arm in there? Well, that's where the hospital food goes. Okay, I found the handle to an electric box. All right, rad. On the feet prints, and they're taking me to literally nowhere. Oh, nope. Okay, hey, hey, guy. Thank you for that. What the fuck? That was nice of him. Yeah, it was a real kind gesture he just did there. Whatever the fuck he did. Did he fucking drug me? Is that what happened? Did I just get drugged. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? I think being drugged is a big concern considering I'm trying to run for my life. Don't want to be no Lori Strode in Halloween too. <laughs> You're right, at least you didn't try to make out with us. I can't. 
I'm gonna go over here, and you guys better not follow me. Maybe they think I'm a cafeteria hamburger. That's very true. They could just be hungry. Tell me more. Okay. All right. All right. Looks like my house. <laughs> Looking mighty tasty. Mm, there's the eyeball. There's him. He's you like eyeballs, don't you, bud? Woo! Ooh, you're a fast bitch. Oh. Spicy meatball. Okay. trying to do where am i what am i doing am i supposed to stab something like i don't know this giant meaty eye ow that probably feels like a freaking eyelash in your eye My flashlight came flying into my arms. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Yuck. That's gross. <laughs> this is gross. I don't know what's going on. Ugh. God, this is disgusting. Not having a good time. Okay, let's like, okay. <laughs> Hello? Are we done yet? Test again. Who's behind door number 13? Nobody. Do I have any keys? Oh, I gotta, I gotta, what is this? Um, a thing, a lever thing. Wait, was there a place to put it in the, in the eyeball room? Oh. Uh, Wouldn't you know? It was right there the whole goddamn time. God dang it. Don't fuck with me. Big brain moves. Me? Of course I'm a regular coffee drinker. The holy brew. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep saying this. This is a nice ass hospital. Like, holy shit. Look at this. They just don't do this anymore. Okay. Hello? Oh, for the love of God. The big ass hospital. Ooh, pizza sounds good right now. How are we gonna have a So break it, right? Oh boy, here we go. Here with good news. Based on your behavior and recovery in the past few months, you'll be ready to leave and go home. Sounds good. Yeah, but did you guys solve the problem? You guys, did you solve the problem though? <clears throat> yeah, that sounds like a perfectly stable human being that's ready to go back to the real world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh boy, I am, I am stuck in this room. I don't know. 
Oh, can I move the cabinet? I was trying to do it early. Oh, I just didn't push. This game has a way with you. There we go. I tried. Don't leave your flashlight. No, you're going to fall down there. You're going to forget your flashlight. And I'm going to be in the dark. Grab your flashlight. Grab... Grab it? Sir. Stranger. Oh my god. I never fucking left the flashlight. Smart move. That one is... Okay. Okay. He's having a good time. He's ha he's having a great day. playing hard mode <laughs> hard mode no light in the dark is this is this who we're playing his name is Dwayne oh I'm in the room now He got locked in the room. An eyeball. Oy vey. Oh. What the hell? Prison. Okay. Once you've completed a chapter, you are far from being finished. Thanks. Explore the house once more. You'll discover new key items that open new paths. Visit the progress room to have an idea of your progress. You'll also be able to start a new chapter. There's fresh paint on the wall. Try and break the wall open. I like how the music's all peaceful and relaxing. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what happened there at the end, but... Look at- listen to the spa music, dude. Is he using his head? Jesus. <laughs> Why do I feel like we're using our skull to break open this drywall? <laughs> Hell yeah, we finished a chapter. Okay, let's wander around, I guess, with this peaceful, relaxing music. He he's a Kyle. He drinks a monster. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we got another candle. Perfect. Love that. I think it is also bedtime for me as well. We got one chapter done, though, so we'll be... Probably playing more of this. This is I'm I'm intrigued to be honest. But you guys have an absolutely wonderful night. Please have wonderful dreams. Drink some water. I hope the bed is nice and cozy and warm and soft and squishy for you. And I hope you have the best sleep tonight. Take good care of yourselves. And I will be seeing you guys hopefully very very soon. Bye.